brother, he's alive. I pray the Lord comes, I really do. Uh, I know this is a serious time, but I believe in a serious place. I've always said it's life and death matter to be around the church because we can help somebody get eternal life or we can fail God and call somebody to uh, maybe not even get to the Lord. You say, well, a church won't do that. The church has stood in the way a lot down through the Bible. Uh, if you remember the boy when the four men came to, uh, to get him to Jesus, uh, they couldn't even get through. Those people were blocked away. And, uh, but uh, they held on, didn't they? They held on. And uh, got through the roof and got him down and he got, he got healed and all that. So we know tonight God will make a way for every one of us tonight. Last year I was here, somebody asked me the other night, they couldn't remember the name of the city that uh, Mesivita went to in Ohio. Anybody remember? Amen. He's fed. 
given us houses. Uh, he's just given us everything uh, our hearts desire. Uh, he said, ask what you will, uh, and I'll give it to you. Uh, I'm telling you, the Bible says, uh, Jesus said it was my Father's uh, good will to give you these things. Uh, God has blessed us. What more can He do for us? Think about this. What more can God do for us than He's already done in life? Amen. Well, what has He really done? Uh, uh, he gave His Son. Uh, amen. He, uh, he allowed His Son uh, to come down here uh, and give His life a ransom uh, on Calvary's tree uh, that we could have life. Uh, what more could He have done? Uh, he set up a kingdom in our hearts uh, and established uh, and sanctified uh, people that He called the church uh, of the living bride. Uh, I'm telling you today, uh, God has done everything for us. Uh, and brethren, we do little for Him. Uh, it's not the question now uh, what God has done. Uh, it's what I have done. Uh, what have I done, brethren? Uh, and you can't repay Him. Uh, but boy, just to thank Him for what He's done for us tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Thank God been good to us tonight. Has, uh, is there anything that in your life that you need today? Uh, amen. I've been here now uh, uh, two years watching people. Uh, ain't one of us starving to death. Uh, I think the thinnest person in this church is sitting right, right here. And the rest of us uh, look like God is uh, taking care of us pretty well. Uh, amen. I've watched all the food you've been making. Uh, ain't that wonderful? Uh, that back yonder in my young days, uh, we didn't have so much to eat uh, all the time. Uh, but God down through the years uh, has blessed us. Uh, amen. How are lacking anything tonight. You've got it all today. And most of all, God has given you His Son. And you've got everything if you've got Him. Jesus is the one. One time, a boy, he's one of my customers. And uh, he me and him got to be the best of friends. He's a Lutheran. And I was a Baptist. And he said to me, he said, I'll tell you what. He said, when I die, and he was younger than me, amen, by at least 10 years. He said, when I die, I want you to preach my funeral. I, I said, now, honey, I said, uh, I said, Fred, I can't, uh, I'll, they won't allow me uh, to preach your funeral uh, at the Lutheran church. Uh, you just might as well not worry about that. Uh, he said, I'll talk uh, to my wife and write it down, uh, and they will allow it. Uh, amen. And many years later, uh, he passed away, uh, and his wife called me. He said, Billy, uh, amen, Fred died, uh, and he wants you to hold his funeral. Uh, I said, Lord, honey, uh, you better call uh, uh, the man at that church and ask him if it's all right. Uh, and she called back, and he said, it's all right. Uh, and I got to preach at a Lutheran funeral. Uh, amen. Some didn't like it. Uh, I know I saw heads wag. Uh, amen. Some might not like it tonight. Uh, I can't help that if your heads wag. Uh, I'm going to preach the truth. Uh, amen. Regardless of what people say about it. Uh, amen. I preach the way I do. Uh, I don't like that kind of preaching. Well, you don't want to go to heaven if you don't like a little loudness because uh, we're going to be shouting throughout the eternal age. Amen. I want to go where it's quiet. Oh, heaven ain't that place. And hell ain't either. Huh? No, we had a wonderful Virginia. came from Virginia. Just saw that. man came up to a Methodist church, Jenny Chapel. Where I was raised in the little Methodist church. And he's, he came up and he started preaching. Boy, I'm telling you, I, I thought the little Methodist man could preach. Amen. He started preaching about heaven uh, and hell. Uh, amen. And the people came up to him and said, Look, uh, preach all you want to about heaven. Uh, lay off that hell stuff. Uh, that was scare our children. Uh, amen. Uh, and he kept preaching heaven and hell. Uh, and they called the, uh, the head uh, Methodist at the bench and said, Get him out of here. Uh, he's preaching about hell. Uh, and they got him out of here. Uh, well, don't we need to hear both? Uh, Amen. There's more written about hell than heaven. Uh, don't you know what Jesus said about it? Uh, choose you to stay. Uh, life and live. Or choose you death and die. Uh, amen. The rich man died. Uh, and in hell lifted up his eyes. Uh, and the poor man went to heaven. Uh, we need to preach the full counsel yes. of God. Amen. The Bible said they're wholesome words to people that believe. That's us, saying. That's us. We believe in both. I hope you do. Amen. Some say purgatory. The Bible don't say nothing about purgatory. There ain't no middle ground. Amen. Heaven and hell. Amen. You go if you believe and you go to the other place if you don't believe. It's that simple. Amen. You really believe in hell as much as 
heaven. I believe, amen, that's not intended for man according to God's word to go there. He made it for the devil and his angels. And if you ever get there, you'll go as an intruder, the Bible says. You don't want to go to that place, and you don't have to. You don't have to. Just believe in Jesus. It's what we come to church for. We are, we are believers in Jesus. We don't believe there's no other way to get there. Amen. Uh, amen. Well, uh, amen. Some say you can sing the gospel. Uh, I say you can't. Uh, I say you just sing the gospel. Uh, if all singers were preachers, uh, there would be no need for me. Uh, amen. Well, I can't sing much anymore. I told you my voice is gone. Uh, my 50 years of preaching killed that. Uh, but I can still preach the gospel. Uh, you don't want to hear me say, but in heaven. Wow. Well, I have a voice up there. Uh, I'll be able to sing with the angels up in that place. Because I'll have a new voice. What more can God do than his heart done for us? Amen. He said, I've hedged it about. Uh, amen. You ever been hedged about? Uh, amen. When the whole world uh, is coming down on you. Uh, amen. And all of a sudden, uh, they can't get to you. Uh, they can't get to what you feel uh, and what you believe because you're hedged about. Uh, amen. God said, I'm going to uh, keep you uh, and, uh, from all harm. Uh, I'll hedge you about in my love. Uh, amen. Uh, ain't you glad we got a tire? Uh, amen. He put a tire. You remember reading that? Uh, a tire. In there. Uh, amen. A high place. Uh, thank God for the church. Uh, it's a high place this morning. Uh, it's where God Almighty uh, uh, comes and dwells in the hearts of, of His church today. Not this building. This ain't the church. That's right. Some think it is. Uh uh. This ain't going to heaven. This is going to so burn like everything else. Amen. But what will get there will be the souls of mankind. Amen. I'm going to heaven Me too. because I was saved. I'm going to heaven because of Jesus yeah, took care of some things one day that nobody. Paul said he spoke to me words that no man can speak. Uh, he said I got called up to a third heaven and heard words, unspeakable words, that it was not lawful uh, for a man to utter. Uh, what Paul here? Uh, he heard the same thing you heard uh, or I heard. Uh, you are saved. Uh, no man can tell you that. Uh, your heart and say, you are all right. Uh, unspeakable words that man uh, will try to tell you, but God's words, uh, amen, is truth uh, and righteous today. Uh, if he speaks to your heart, uh, you can get saved today. <coughs> That's too old time for me. Well, sorry for you. That's the only way you're going to get there. Amen. Get a belief. Why, you, young worker star, you've preached that all week. I'll preach it till I die. You've got to believe. You've got to believe. God said, Joe, that was his song. That was God. Here's your God. Amen. You maybe never uh, heard God sing a song. They sung it right there. Uh, my well beloved. Uh, amen. Uh, you know he loves you. Uh, amen. Uh, and do you know he loves sinners? Uh, people said, oh, he does. Yeah. You know God loves this whole world. Uh, he, his love is so great he loves sinners. Uh, he loves people, brethren, uh, that even curse him. Uh, amen. Uh, because he sent his son uh, uh, to die for them uh, and to die for me. Uh, amen. Unless you believe that, you cannot get to God's heaven. Uh, amen. Well, I'm going to get there this way uh, or that way. Uh, you're going to get there his way because uh, he is the way. There is no others. When I first, Helen first took me to Sharon Missionary Baptist Church, I sat there and I said, why is that man so loud? <laughs> and I look at me. <laughs> I did. I said, why did she have something? And then after a while, it started getting to me. Amen. That was in 1959. And in 1959, I got convicted. Some people take that for salvation. You know that? But I was sitting back.